Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to play your PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 games over on your PC using remote play. So let's go ahead and jump to the video right now. So that is right, you can play your PlayStation 5 and connect to your PlayStation 5 with remote play from your PC. Now, first you will need to go ahead and connect a controller to your PC. So I have this USB cord that's connected to my PC. Otherwise with the PlayStation 5 controller, you can connect with Bluetooth. So that is an option. So now that I have my controller connected, let's go over to my computer now. Go ahead and open up a web browser. Go to google.com and just type in PlayStation Remote Play. Press enter in the top link playstation.com remote play let's go ahead and select that option right here then scroll on down under this page and you'll see various download links for google play apple store let's go ahead and find the download link for windows 10 so here we have it windows pc and mac go ahead and select it right here now under this page where it says PS Remote Play, scroll on down until you get to control your PS5. Control your PS5 from a Windows PC. Let's select this link right here. And that says install Remote Play on your Windows PC. Let's go to install app. Just scroll on down under here. Go to the I agree and select this and check mark it. And then download Remote Play. You should see a download Start in the bottom left side of the screen and then go to open. Okay, so now open up the PS Remote Play application on your PC. Just find it under the recently added at the top here or scroll on down here alphabetically until you get to the PlayStation section here under the P. So PlayStation Remote Play, select this, open it up, sign in with your username and password. Now you need to make sure your PlayStation 5 is in rest mode or turned on. Now, if you quickly go to settings and then under video quality, you'll notice for the PlayStation 4, there's resolution options and frame rate options. On the PS5, all you have is HDR, high dynamic range. If your monitor supports this, go ahead and just check mark this right here. This will provide you better, more vibrant colors. So I have that selected. So on the PlayStation 5 section, it will do the resolution and everything for you. And you can sign out and sign in with a different account right here if you want to go ahead and do that. So you can see your user account right here and the sign out option. So for me, it already found my PlayStation 5. But if I go to other options, I can select PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5. And then it can go ahead and search for different PlayStations. So before I can connect on my PlayStation 5, I have to go to Settings, System, Remote Play. And make sure remote play is enabled. So go to your PlayStation 5 and do that. Otherwise, it won't be able to connect. So now my PlayStation 5 is turning on. It's connecting to my PlayStation 5 right now over my wireless connection. Now, for the best results when it comes to remote play, I suggest going to your computer and connecting it with a LAN cable and going to your PlayStation 5 and connecting it with a LAN cable this will provide you the smoothest connection and the least amount of input lag from when you're moving on your controller to the movements on the screen. Okay, so now remote play is a window and I can see my PlayStation 5 in the background. So I can make this bigger. Otherwise, I can select this option on the bottom right and I can make it full screen. So it's completely full screen. Then you'll see my controller battery life in the bottom right. Then I can uncheck mark this mute button and I can use my PC microphone on my PlayStation 5. So that's pretty cool. Then I have some options right here where I can click it with my mouse, the options button, and then the share button as well. I just took a picture. So now with remote play, I have full access to my PlayStation 5. And I can go to settings and I can even start up games. So this actually is a great way to record videos if you're on YouTube. Otherwise, if you are in a different room and you just want to quickly connect to your PlayStation 5. Now, what I notice is the input leg is actually relatively good. So I'm going to start up Splitgate here and go to a custom match. 
So input lag is when you move back and forth, you'll notice a small delay between your actions on the thumbstick and what's displayed on the screen. And this can be an issue in competitive like first person shooter games or like anything that requires fast twitch movements on the controller. But when I'm using PlayStation Remote Play on my PC, I really don't notice too much input lag. Like I can fully play this game, maybe not at such a high competitive level, but I can definitely play this and it's not too much of a problem. So I know the technology hasn't been improving and my internet over the years has been improving as well. And when it comes to the upload speed and the download speed, Everything is just becoming much more effective and just more responsive and better. It's going to take some matches to get used to the input lag, but it is settled to the point where I think most people won't even notice there. Just make sure you're using a LAN connection. Now to turn off your PlayStation 5 and disconnect from the remote play application, just click on this window and minimize it and go to this X. And you can put the connected console into rest mode by checkmarking right here and go to OK. Otherwise, another option is simply by pressing the PlayStation button, then opening up the window right here, and then going on over to the power options, selecting this, and you can go to enter rest mode from here. Just select this, and your PlayStation 5 will turn off just like normal. Now, one last thing I want to bring up was the use of the PlayStation 5 controller on your PlayStation 4. This is completely possible by using the remote play application. So let's go to other connection and then go to my PlayStation 4 and then I'm gonna go ahead and connect. All right, so I now have the login area right here where I have to type in my password. Let's type in my password and I'm connecting to my PlayStation 4 with my PlayStation 5 controller. Okay, so I'm on the PlayStation 4 right now using remote play and I have my PlayStation 5 controller connected. As you can see, when I press the R2 button, the car on my screen moves. I can move left and right. If I press the PlayStation button, I can see the home screen of my PlayStation 4. I'm moving around. I can control all the different menus. Now, if you connect the PlayStation 5 controller directly to your PlayStation 4, it will not work. However, you can use it with the PlayStation Remote Play application. Kind of is confusing, but it is a workaround that is effective. So if you're looking to take control of your PlayStation 5 in a different room, Remote Play gives you a wide variety of options. So if this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.